Hello and welcome to more of my trading stuff. What we're going to be looking at this morning is a whole new strategy and a whole new bot that we've written. And this is our moving average cross and this is the advanced version. This strategy is designed to take a long trade when the fasting moving average crosses over the slower moving average and a short trade when it crosses under. It will close the open trade and enter a new trade on a reverse cross. It also lets you set a time window to enter new trades and the option of setting an OSMA value for trade entry. Now this strategy can be used on any time frame and it hasn't been designed for any specific market but I've initially looked at it on currencies on an hourly time frame. Before we do anything else, we'll run through the parameters and I'll explain what they're all for. So starting at the top, we've got the instance. So this is used to set a unique number if you're running multiple versions for the same currency. So if you had two lots of GB dollar, then you'd set one of it to one and one to two. And that way the bot knows which trades have been started by which instance. Coming down you have your quantity in lots and this is the size of your stake. Then we've come to the sections for stops and limits and we've split this out so that you've got separate stops for buy trades and sell trades and you've also got the option whether you actually want to take buy trades or sell trades. So the first section is whether you want to take them or not, so that's just set to yes or no. And then you've got your stop and limit in pips. You need to remember with IC markets, if you're working with the indices, that the pips are 10 times what they would be with quite a few other brokers. The stop and the limit are used to set the initial stop and limit for your trade. The source should be left set to close. And the close candles allows you to choose if you would like to enter and exit the trade on the close of a candle or during live candles. If you set this to no, you may get many more trades because your moving averages may flick to cross and uncross several times within a candle. Moving on down, you've then got the settings for your slow moving average. In this example, I'm leaving it set to 55. And then you've got the moving average type to use and it defaults to simple, but you've got any of the standard options available within CTrader that you can use. We then have our faster moving average and again you have the number of periods. This will default to 21 but that's just a, a number to default to. That doesn't mean that it's the best number to use for each currency. And again this defaults to a simple moving average. The next section down is whether you would like to use the Osma for trades. You can set this to yes or no. You can then set a value that the OSMA has to be above before it will enter a long trade and a value that it has to be below before it enters a short trade and this can help keep you out of some of the losing trades there are. The other new sections here we have a start time and an end time. So we all know that markets have busy times and quieter times and it can be that you only want to take trades between set hours. So in here I'm going to change this from being 6.30 to 8.30 and we're going to carry on going until 11am. So between 8.30 and 11 it will take trades. We then have our advanced protection section and this allows us, if we choose to, to move the stop when we're in profit by a set amount. And you've got the option to use it or not by setting this to yes or no. 
So for example, if you wanted to lock in to break even when you're up 10 pips, you'd move your stop to zero when you're in profit by 10 pips. If you want to move your stop to minus 10 when you're up 10 pips, you would set this here to minus 10. So you're just moving your stop closer to your break even point. Or if you wanted to lock in five pips when you're up 20, you would change that to five and change that to 20. Moving on down, we have our options here to send telegram messages. And we've covered the telegram setup in a separate video. And we also have the option to debug our output and that is to be used if you have a problem and I ask you to switch it on. Otherwise, there is no reason to, to run that. So they are all of our parameters that we need to set. And as you can see, this gives you far more options than our standard cross bot did. So if we look at our buy trade entry criteria, a new trade will be entered when the fast moving average crosses over the slow moving average. If you have the use Osma for trade set to yes, then the bot will also make sure that the Osma is above the specified level. New trades will only be entered during the time window specified and the bot is set to GMT standard times and that means that it will use the local London time. For a sell trade, a new trade will be entered when the fast moving average crosses under the slow moving average. And again, if you have the Osma for trade set to yes, then the bot will also make sure that the Osma is below the level specified. And again, new trades will only be entered during the time window specified. For the exit criteria, both buy and sell trades will close by either hitting their stop or limit or on a reverse cross of the moving averages. The exit criteria does not use the Osma value and trades will still be closed outside of the trading time window. For example, if you had a trading window from 8am to 2pm and there was a reverse cross at 2.30pm, the trade would close. So if we go into backtesting mode, we can have a look at the trades and the entry points. So I'm going to choose my backtesting window. I have a relatively short period of time to make it quick. And I'll click on the play button to run the backtest. As you can see here, it's entered two trades. If I click on the first one, it will move to that on screen. And if I change my cursor to a crosshair, we can look at the entry point. So the entry point is on this candle. So as you can see, we've got our cross on our moving averages and our Osma is above zero. So we've gone into the trade. It has then gone on and it has hit our profit level at 15 pips. The second trade, again, we can see here we've, our faster moving average has crossed under our slower moving average and our Osma is below zero. Unfortunately, in this instance, it's then reversed, gone against us and we've been taken out for our 15 pips. Hopefully that explains how the bot works. The default numbers that it will come up with when you add a new instance are just that. They are just defaults that you will need to change and you will need to optimise for the currency pair or the indices that you want to work with. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you have, click on the like button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, click on subscribe. And if you've got any comments, then please add them below. If you would actually like a copy of the code of this bot so that you can run it, then you'll need to pop along to our Patreon channel 
which is www.patreon.com slash trading stuff. Once you sign up there, you'll then have access to all of the bots and indicators that I've written. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful.